and welcome to News Watch at 5.30. I'm Michelle Ferreri and we are in Peterborough at Nichols Oval watching the U15 girls rugby team. Yes, did you know that Peterborough has the largest number of female participants, girl rugby participants in the province, as well as Peterborough also has the second largest rugby club in the province. Who knew? We're going to find out all about rugby today on Newswatch at 5.30. Also ahead tonight, renovation time, tips on installing a bathtub, and vet talk, a porcupine comes in contact with your dog. Not only is it painful for the dog, it can be pretty serious. We're going to have uh, tips on how to prevent it and, and what you can do about it coming up with Dr. Kelly. And we also have our weekly edition of Celebration Shoutout. It's going to be a great lineup today. First, though, we're going to head back to the station, find out what's making headlines for the top. Okay, thank you, Jay Scotland. And uh, rain is holding out for us here at Nichols Oval as we uh, are watching the U15 girls do some drills for rugby. Join with Gary. Gary? How are you? Gary Bettis? Yep. Is that how I say it? Yeah. Yeah. Gary is kind of a lone wolf today. You're representing the whole Pagans men division of rugby. Yep. Where are they? Uh, probably working. Like Everybody's working. I'd hope. Yep. Yeah. And yep. why aren't you working, Gary? I'm on vacation. My parents are coming over in a couple of days, so I'm... Coming over from where? England. England. The motherland, yep. Back so home. you're playing rugby here. Yep. Is rugby pretty big in England, too? Yeah, it's like kind of our version of your hockey like everyone plays rugby back home and what's the age range that you have playing men's peg in Peterborough? Uh, it's I think you can be 17 and play so 17 and those guys up to like 36 37 still playing so wow really yeah. old guys well, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't want to say that yeah woo, 37 <laughs> when does your season wrap up um September 18th for regular season then we'll be into the playoffs so and how has your team fared good we're second behind Barry right now we just got knocked off top spot a few weeks ago so can you regain that top yep, spot we play Barry and Barry on the 18th for the championship Ooh, so, so the be. Peterborough people could hop on uh, hop in a car yep come to Barry head up and, to Barry yep, is there a pretty big rivalry there yeah we're, we're, we're probably been competitive with Barry for four or five years now so we always like to knock them off and they same with them I guess so yeah you're so uh, you're so cordial and kind that yeah. must be the the England the maybe, English yeah, coming yeah, out of you maybe maybe because I think if I was interviewing a Canadian, they'd be like, we're going to destroy Barry. Is that what, you want to say that? Do you feel like that? Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we'll destroy him, so. Oh, he's, he's confident. Yeah, he's here first, yeah. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break. Thanks so much, Gary. Not a problem, thank And you. Uh, way to represent the whole, the whole peg and men's thank out you. there. They're loving it. All right, <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. This is... Okay, welcome back to Newswatch at 5.30. Join now with Kim Garland. Kim, you have a daughter on this team. I do, Katie this Garland. Is, this is the U15 team. What else, is, what else do you have involved with this team? I'm the manager and the trainer. Now, how does that come to be? How do you get to be a manager? Um, no one else volunteers and you get <laughs> uh, put into that position. Uh, Peterborough has the largest number of females playing rugby in the province. In Canada. In Canada! In Canada. We oh have my the gosh, largest, I thought it was largest female uh, registration in Canada. Why do you think that is? Well, we've actually started recruiting from hockey somewhat, uh, so it's a very good crossover, as well as our junior program at the U8s, U10s, U12 is uh, a mixed boys and girls. So It seems like rugby is one of those sports that's just kind of taken off. It's really becoming huge. For sure. And especially in Peterborough. Yeah, for sure. Um, is it because we're doing so well? These guys are doing pretty well. They're doing excellent. They're actually in position to go to provincials. Um, I dare to say in first place right now. Yep. So uh, we're looking good for provincials. Wow. We have two teams. A first and a second team. Yep. Now, I, I remember rugby was played when I was in high school. I'm not that old, but I'm not that young either. But I was intimidated to play it in terms of thinking that it was a pretty rough sport. What kind of girls are playing rugby? Every kind of girl. I mean, you look at the size and the shapes and, you know, girly girls, not girly girls, whatever. It attracts them for various reasons. And... We've just got every kind of girl out there. I find it um, intimidating in that I find it very complicated. Like, I find I don't really understand what's going on, but I also find it extremely exciting to watch. Yes, it's a fast-paced game for sure. Yeah. Now, you've been so kind as to lend me a uniform, Kimberly. Yes. You're such a good woman like that. Um, and you're going to stick me in there and we're going to do some yes. drills? We're going to be mean and evil and hurt you. Well, you know what? I'm still recovering from yesterday at the <laughs> Spyplex. I played soccer, which, by the way, if you didn't get a chance to check out that show, check, show checkstv.com. You can scroll down. You can watch any of our shows online anytime. Oh, okay, so, Kim, we have to uh, join our Vet Talk segment of Newswatch at 5.30. See, I would think that she's hurt, but she's okay. Um, and uh, we're going to find out about porcupines. You ever had a dog, or, a dog get attacked by a porcupine? No. Good. Don't have a dog. That's good. Well, 
you're lucky because it's not fun. So we have some tips for, uh, for our viewers tonight about that. When we come back, you've been so gracious as to lend me this nice uniform, which I'm excited to put to good use, even though I'm still sore from yesterday. What position do you have for me? Hooker. How fitting. <laughs> so crouch, touch, pause, engage. Drive it, drive it, drive, 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 drive. <laughs> oh, this looks so hard. Okay, Jody, what is this thing here? This is a scrum machine. Okay. And the the purpose of this machine is to take the place of an opposing team. So if you haven't got enough players here to actually have two full scrums, it gives you the chance to still work on your technique, uh, get them to, to work it looks, on driving uh, It looks legs. expensive. Uh, it is. Okay, so your legs are way farther apart than mine. How come? Because we're the props. You're trying to keep our really, balance. You're going to be trying to hook the ball with your foot, so you're almost going to be balancing one foot. Basically, we keep you balanced while you, like, are We're, we're like almost this. lifting you up in the air. I don't think I'm a very good hooker. I think I'd be a better prop. <laughs> I'm too tall. I'm too tall to be a hooker. I'm too tall. Okay. So when you go down, you want to have your shoulders width lined up, but you want your head up so you don't hurt your neck. Okay, ready? So crouch, touch, pause, engage. Oh, Thanks a little. That's it. Good job. Oh, That's a better push. I'm too tall. Woo! Ow. <laughs> okay, Jody, I wasn't a very good hooker. Oh, I thought you did a fabulous job. <laughs> so right now we're going to do a real scrum. What am I doing? Well, we're, we're going to do uh, a bit of a scrum just because we've lost some numbers. You've, okay. gone in, you've moved into our second row now, so your job in, in this position, mm -hmm. you're the powerhouse of our scrum. <laughs> your, job is, your job is to push this scrum forward and make sure that we're not pushed forward. So basically what I was doing with that machine, but with real people. That's right. Okay. And what we do is we reach up through and grab onto their shirts. So what? On like You're that. putting your hand under their crotch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your head, you kind of go like this, in between their heads like that. Are, are, you, the are you kidding? No. <laughs> So, so the purpose, the purpose, and all the things that you're doing right now, again, are to keep your your scrum nice and tight. Because the tighter you can keep your scrum, the more controlled it is. So where am I putting my head? Right between their hips. Between? Oh, not up their legs. No. no. Right in here. Right like this. Kevin. Okay. And, no. Oh, I'm, so, I'm going to get injured. And what you have to remember is that there's there's somebody coming out in behind you as well. I can't hear you. What? There's somebody coming in behind you She's as well. So there's between your hips and the other second row, there's yeah. somebody else coming in behind you. So just don't be surprised. I'm going to get hurt. Not at all. All right. So crouch, touch, pause, engage. Oh! Oh, Push, I'm not nice and low, high. nice and low, nice and low. I'm 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 low. I'm I'm low. I'm I'm low. I'm I'm low. I'm <laughs> you want to have your hands up nice and early so they know where to pass the ball and that makes it easier for you to take the ball and move the ball to the next player. And that's okay. the whole idea of this drill is to just practice those quick hands. I guess. Hey, ball. Oh, I gave it to the wrong person. Oh. Skip pass. oh, she's advanced. She's got the skip pass down already. <laughs> yeah, I totally meant to do that. <laughs> step step over here for a second and they're, they're going to show you oh, what you're going to do. Okay, so I'm watching. Okay. Oh. It's kind of like cheerleading. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody want to respond to that? Um, Just remember, what's what's really important for you is this is all about core strength for jumpers. So you want to keep your, your middle section nice and tight because if you don't, you're going to do this all over the place. So, so squeeze as you go. What am I doing? Why did I sign up for this show? <laughs> Rugby is scary. Okay, so okay, don't throw, don't throw one right now. We're just gonna work on a jump. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. It's a lot. Of, it's a very touchy feely sport, eh? You guys spend a lot of time together. And <laughs> they're good friends. Okay. <laughs> Wandering hands. Okay, so so Britt, you can you can call her up. All right. So I'm gonna say, ready, ready, up. All right. So you jump on up. Okay. Okay. Ready, ready, up. Oh. <laughs> That's why it's so important. You've got to get nice and low. You've got to Lower. give them that little bit. Okay. Try to step. When I say ready, ready, up. You guys watch okay. on that side. Yeah, watch. Okay. okay. Don't lift. Oh. Ready, ready, up. Oh, that was my fault. <laughs> Drive the arms. Drive the arms. Up. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go kick your legs. Okay, ready, ready, up. Push, push. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> catch the ball now. Catch the ball first. Are we going to throw a ball in? To when I'm up in yes. the air? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you guys want to lift across from her? Yeah, let's let's do a full line here, girls. Are you calling? Kayla, I'll call. You girls are tough, by the way. These girls are tough. That's what you get. Yeah, you guys are tough. No, I'm not, but... <laughs> 
Okay, ready? 21. 21. Yellow. Up. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. All, All right. right. So, All right, girls, let's go back to some fundamental. Thank you so much, girls. You guys can keep playing. I am out of rugby. That's it for News Watch at 5.30. Thanks so right, much girls, for watching. Let's go. Coming up tomorrow, lunchbox ideas, care, uh, courtesy. I can't even talk. I'm just frazzled from rugby. Carol, uh, Carol Ann Eason will have that for us. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.